A few weeks ago, I was shopping for Shabbos in one of the local supermarkets in LA. As I'm checking out, I have my bags in my hand, and I'm walking out the door, and I hear someone yell, Rabbi Gold, Rabbi Gold. I turn around, I see a middle-aged woman. She says, Rabbi Gold, have I got a story for you. Now I always tell people, my brothers in real estate, I always tell people that whatever a good piece of real estate is to a real estate investor, that's what a good, true story is to me. If I hear someone wants to share a story with me, I'll be here all night. I put my bags down and I'm all ears. And she proceeds to tell me the following story. She says, my daughter, my 15-year-old daughter was walking on La Brea. That's the main avenue. I don't know what it is in Queens. It's like 13th Avenue in Bar Park. My daughter was walking on La Brea. She was walking past the young Israel of La Brea. She notices there's a officer that's issuing a ticket to a, park, to a car that's parked illegally by a, an expired meter. So she looks at the car, she looks at the officer, she looks at the synagogue, the shul, the young Israel, and she realizes that this car must belong to someone davening in young Israel right now. It was around five o'clock in the afternoon. Mincha time, whatever, whenever they were davening Mincha, she says, he probably can't come out to refill his meter, I gotta help him out. She runs over to the officer, she says, officer, I think this belongs to a Jew inside the shul. Do you mind if I put in a quarter for him? He can't come out, he's praying. The officer looks at the girl, he's very impressed. And he says to her, you know what? It's your lucky day today. I still haven't printed the ticket. She proceeds to put in a quarter. She thanks the officer and the officer walks away. And I'm ready to pick up my bags and walk away. And I'm telling her that it's a beautiful story. This is a reflection of the tremendous chinuch that she invested in her child. It's absolutely beautiful. Thinking to myself in the back of my mind, can I make a video about this or not? I don't think so. It's not sensational, it's not that emotional. Okay, we're gonna leave it. But it's a beautiful story, and I'm, as I'm about to walk away, she turns to me, she says, Rabbi Gold, where are you going? I said, I'm going, I, I, I have to go. She said, no, the story's not over. I'm like, it's not? She says, no. So I put my bags back down and she says, my daughter, after putting the quarter in the meter, she thought to herself, she thought, she thought to herself, one second, who says this belongs to a Jew in the shul? Maybe it belongs to a guy at McDonald's on the corner that had to park right over here. Who knows? I was thinking maybe the, the guy couldn't come out. He was in the middle of davening. Who knows? Who says this is the guy in the shul? She decides to wait. She wanted to see who the car belongs to. She waits, waits, and waits. Rabbi Gold, 10 minutes later, everybody files out of the shul and you'll never believe whose car it was. And I'm thinking to myself, what's it got to do with me? I gotta go, lady. Why are you holding me up? And she looks at me and she says, Rabbi Gold, it was your car. She sees you walking over to the car. It's amazing how a story, when it's personal, it becomes sensational. And I'm like, really? It was my car. I'm embarrassed, I'm blushing, and I'm thinking to myself, really, I had no idea that she spared me a ticket. I find that her name, her address, I go to Coffee Bean and buy her a $25 gift card. I still save myself $35. I write a nice note, and as I'm delivering the note and I'm dropping it off, I think to myself, how many people in my life, behind the scenes, are doing for me, are dropping those quarter in my meter even while I'm parked illegally? And I forget to think. It's an incredible question. I had this aha moment for myself. I'm dropping off this gift card and a note, and I'm thinking to myself, who else? Who else don't I know about? And then I thought to myself, well, it's probably the people we take for granted. People we take for granted, we forget about our parents, right? our spouses, our children. That's what Dovra Melech says, that's what the Torah says.